Making breakdowns can be the hardest part of animation. You have these really nice story poses, these golden poses, and making them connect and feel natural can be quite tricky. In this video, I won't be going through what makes a good pose, but I will instead show you some tips and tricks to make poses quicker and to Maya and Blender workflows you can use every day. The first thing I will say is a breakdown is about finding out what's dragging and what's leading the animation. So for example, if the chest is dragging and the hips are leading, you want to favor the chest to the previous pose and the front pose will favor the hips. These three tricks will help you work out what's going where and make it easier to make good posing and quicker posing in Maya. Now the first trick I use is using a linear key to set my value for what's dragging and what's leading. So I take my step keys, my golden poses. You can do this for the whole timeline or just two poses or even just individual controllers. It's really up to you. I set those two keys for basically key one or frame one and frame 10 into linear mode. And in the graph editor, you can see there's a linear curve. This means I can choose what part of the curve I like. So if it's dragging or leading, I can then take that part of the curve and drag it to the middle to set my breakdown. For example, let's say my breakdown is at frame five. I can use middle mouse drag, this button here. I can drag maybe frame two or frame three, drag it to frame five and set a key. And now frame five will be dragging because I've taken the value of frame two. This means I can easily go through my curves and go for my arms and my elbow, my hips and my chest. And I can then use this, this technique to quickly give in the right value. This is quicker than going in and doing it manually because of course I can just quickly middle mouse drag, go okay before, after. I can set my dragging and my leading very quickly. Of course, you do have to make some manual adjustments for things like arcs and spacing issues, but it's still quicker than just doing everything manually because I have you know a method of automating the process. Now I will say this method is not used by itself. All the methods in this video are used simultaneously and normally within the same shot, the same workflow, or even the same minute. I'm never using one and not the other ones. With that being said, let's go to number two. So number two is using a ghoster. Now you can do this manually in Maya. I have a plugin for this, but quickly I'll show you the manual method first so you can use it with a native Maya. You're gonna take your geometry from the rig. You're gonna control C and control V to duplicate the rig, then unparent it to edit, unparent. And then also you can apply a different shader to see it with a transparent effect. So go to Lambert, go to transparency, drag that down to see through the rig. This means you can take your golden poses, so frame one and frame 10, for example, and you can give it a ghosting shader. And when you're doing frame five, you can very easily see where things are coming from, where things are going to go to. So you can quickly make adjustments in combination with method one. You can make your arcs, make your spacing, find out what's dragging and what's leading, and quickly put this into Maya. This method I actually use now with a plugin, like I said. This plugin I'll link down below. Basically, you take the geometry, add it to the plugin with this arrow key, and then you just click make ghost pose and delete ghost pose. I use this probably the most out of all these three methods, but like I said, I do use them simultaneously, so I wouldn't say this is better or worse than anything else. But yeah, I really recommend this plugin, or at least this workflow. I am aware Maya has ghosting inside of the software itself. However, I don't think that does quite the same thing, because I'm not quite looking for the arcs or the path. I just want to see the posing and how it relates to each other simultaneously. So I think this method is easier and a bit more readable than Maya's inbuilt ghoster. So the third trick I use is Tween Machine. It's so easy to use. You take your two poses, your golden poses, and you make your breakdown at frame five, and you choose what parts are dragging and what are leading. So if the hips are leading, click on the hips and click on the buttons which are towards the right or towards the front of the animation, the forward part of the animation, and the value you choose is up to you. So maybe 90% or maybe 60%. And then those hips will be keyed favoring frame 10. You then choose other body parts, which are leading or dragging, and they could be 20% or 40%, and they'll be dragging behind favoring frame one. So you go through your rig, you set out, you know, which parts are leading and dragging, and using this with the other methods I've shown, you can get close to a good breakdown so fast. So disclaimer though, this doesn't make pretty posing by itself. You need to go into your breakdowns, adjust some of the controllers, bring it down a bit to make some arcs, or maybe make sure the hands are visible. And of course, you need to make sure the timing and spacing is still correct. At the end of the day, these tricks will help you be faster, but you still need to go in and make sure you're making your posing pretty and doing it yourself. Hopefully these tricks were useful for you. Links down below for all of the plugins. Make sure you join my Discord as well for updates and just general chit chat about animation. And please do follow and subscribe my YouTube channel and go watch my other videos. And I'm really trying hard to make a 
high quality of tutorial. And thank you for watching. Cheers and thank you. Goodbye and happy animating.